Greetings and welcome to my Wednesday ramblings as we line up for the third week of this message series that I've called Catholic Atheist. Now, first week we looked at how we say we believe in God, but in fact we struggle to trust that God really cares about us. And we saw that by discussing the situation in the Garden of Eden as Adam and Eve, after eating of the fruit of the tree of good and evil, suddenly recognised that they were naked and believing that they were naked, God wouldn't be able to, to welcome them into the garden and so they hid. It reminded to us that frequently we hide from God because we don't think that God will be a forgiving God or a loving God. Last week we looked at the question of um, whether we believe the the power of prayer, not, and I mentioned this last Sunday, not the actual saying or reciting of prayers like the rosary or other prayers, um, but rather that spending time in stillness with God in prayer. And part of the reason that we doubt it is, well, does it change anything anyway? God knows what's going to happen, so why bother to pray? And after a while, we can have that real feeling of saying there's no point and yet when we come and sit in the presence of God and experience the wonder of God just as Peter and James and John did on the mountaintop in the in the experience of the transfiguration we suddenly recognize that Jesus is human and experiences our suffering and our challenges but he is also divine and in his divinity he has the capacity the love for us that leads us into something deeper. Today we're looking at um, the question of what does it mean to really worry? Do we trust God or do we worry about everything? Some of us find it quite easy to worry. I have to admit that it's one of the easiest things that I can do. I can create any sort of scenario out of any kind of situation and I can cause myself untold anxiety. And yet, God is always faithful to his promise. And we listen to the passage from the book of Exodus as the people of Israel keep coming back to Moses, doubting God, doubting that God will provide food for them, doubting that God will provide water for them. And they keep asking the question, why have you taken us out of Egypt? We had food, we had water, we had everything we needed. Mind you, we were slaves and we had to work long hours and we struggled but we had these basic things why have you brought us here and the sense is that well it's not what that the question is not will you give me water could i have some water please it's rather give me water and sometimes that's a bit of our attitude when it comes to our relationship with god we have a sense of entitlement a sense of expectation that I'm going to get what I need, when I want it, how I want it. And we know that Jesus said, come to me, all you who labour and overburdened. He tells us to give um, presence, give a space for the cross in our, in our lives and to make a difference so that we can actually choose um, to do things the right way. So today, as we get ready for this weekend and this third Sunday of our Lenten season, third weekend of our message series, I'd like to hope that we might just walk a little bit closer in the presence of God and actually trust that God will be with us and that his presence, his power, his love will truly make a difference. Have a great week. Look forward to seeing you next time on my Wednesday ramblings. And I hope you have the capacity, the opportunity to place your trust in God and believe that he is truly with you. Take care.